are back, 745, checking out Old Orchard Beach. Pretty quiet out there. I imagine later today, though, there will be people once again, though, walking the beach, maybe dipping their toes in. Oh, yeah. We've got another warm day ahead, Sam. We're just continuing the streak around here. Started back on Friday, hitting 71. That broke the record of 69. Yesterday, hitting 74. That broke the record of 65. Today, I'm going for 62, but that's thinking we get a sea breeze in Portland. If we hold off the sea breeze, we could challenge the record of 67 today as well. Tomorrow's record is in jeopardy, and I think Tuesday's is definitely going to go down. This is a really, really warm stretch of weather for early to mid-November, no question about it. This morning, temperatures are in the 40s out there. We have some thin clouds passing through southern Maine, and there's a strip of some thicker clouds to the north. Eastern and northern Maine are on the cool side of this front today, so it will not be as warm in places like Bangor, down east and up north. But western and southern Maine are still on the warm side of the front. So today we're getting into the 60s, and there's plenty, much, plenty warm air uh, back to our west. So we'll be up into the 70s, I think on Tuesday. This is going to roll right into the middle of the week. Hour by hour forecast shows that pretty well. Clouds to the north and east of Bangor, the most sunshine to the south and west, and that's where temperatures are going to be warmest today. I think we're hitting 72 in Freiburg, 69 in Sanford, 63 in Augusta, but 58 in Bangor, 53 in Bar Harbor, and only 51 in Millinocky. It's a lot cooler to the east and north. Tonight we will have fog moving in. There will be some clouds overnight too. So tomorrow will not start out bright and sunny everywhere like it is this morning. And it may take a few hours to get rid of that fog. Even at 9, 10 a.m., still some fog will be out there. But the afternoon turns bright and warm. Temperatures tomorrow afternoon back into the 60s, even up north with a southwest wind bringing that warmth in. And I think we have a good shot at hitting the low 70s in southern and western Maine tomorrow afternoon. And that's not it. Tuesday is the warmest day of the week. Sunshine, low to even mid 70s, a possibility on Tuesday. That looks like the warmest day of this stretch. It does start to break down, though, as we get into the middle of the week. Wednesday, we'll have more clouds, highs on Wednesday in the 60s. And then this front arrives late in the day with showers Wednesday evening, Wednesday night, and early Thursday morning. I'm thinking we'll get this offshore Thursday Thursday afternoon and we'll start to see some clearing and behind this front it turns cooler but it's really just more typical we'll be talking about temperatures in the upper 40s to low 50s which is really where we usually hang out around here this time of the year seas today two to three feet a remarkably calm day to be on the water for mid-november and with temps in the 60s it'll feel pretty nice too Here's your seven day forecast to low 60s on average today. Again, warmer in western Maine where we get up to near 70, but cooler to the north and east. Tomorrow morning we start out with fog, warm in the afternoon, up around 70 degrees inland in the 60s along the coastline. Warmest day will be Tuesday. I think even at the coast we get into the 70s on Tuesday. Veterans Day Wednesday, clouds increase with showers late. Those showers could linger into Thursday morning. And then after that, we do clear it out and we are back down to more typical mid-November level. Sam, no reason to not get outside today and uh, enjoy this weather. Absolutely. All right. Thanks, Ryan.